Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and this video I'm going to show you everything that has been changed and fixed in Minecraft pre-release 3. Very exciting, we're in the pre-release stages already. So Minecraft 1.16 will come out in a couple of weeks, as the blog post also suggested. If you don't want to miss the next pre-release videos, then please make sure to subscribe and like this video. But now, without any further ado, let's get into all of the changes of Minecraft pre-release 3 for Minecraft 1.16. So, first of all, they made nether fortresses more common. So this is the, well, the original structure that generates in the nether, so they should appear more often now. But they haven't changed anything about how it looks. So in one of the last pre-releases, they changed how cooked food works on campfires. So previously, if you, well, put cooked food on a campfire and put a campfire out, it would stay there. But the pre in a previous pre-release, they removed this feature. But they added it back in this time. So if I now get an unlit campfire, you can still put food on there. And this is nice for kitchens to put stuff on stoves. So you can now put food on unlit campfires. So a sort of lava vision has been added. So we're back in the nether and if we just go underneath the lava you can see we can't see anything. But if you're now under the effect of fire resistance. So if I give myself some fire resistance and now go under the lava. You can see that we can see a little bit better. So we can see the wall over here. If you remove the effect, the wall completely disappears. So we need to be very close to even see it. And now with this effect, we can see it a little bit better. So I can try to up the amplifier to see if that increases the distance. No, it doesn't. So we have a little bit better vision. So we can at least place blocks on our lava when you're in creative. Or in survival if you have a fire resistance potion. Which is nice and it's a lot better than it was previously. Okay, I think I found a little bit of a bug because look at all of these wither skeletons over here. There's like 20 of them. I didn't spawn any of these in myself, they were just here. And there's more spawning over here, so I think there's a little bit too many mobs spawning in this pre-release. But that hopefully should be fixed before the final release. So piglins will now also become angry at you if you don't have a line of sight with them. But still, if you break a block of gold. So if you do that, the piglins will become angry at you. And so they will immediately come after you. As you can see, he couldn't see me, but he immediately went after me as soon as I broke the gold block. So the game will now also attempt to recover worlds broken in 1.16 pre-release 1. So let's check this out. Let's go back into my screen over here. Do I have a world in pre-release 1? Yes, over here. So let's see if it actually works. So yes, okay, I, I'm, I know what I'm doing. So let's see if it actually works. So previously you couldn't even load it, and now we can still load it. And as you can see, I'm in my world I used for the pre-release 1 video. So we can now enter the 1.16 pre-release 1 world. So if you create a new world, there's this game rules menu that had been added previously, and it has been changed a little bit. So now there is two rows when it's needed, so it won't be try to fit on one row if it's a very long game rule. And so that happens over there and that's actually the only part where it happens. So it's only for the allow specter is to generate terrain part. So that has been changed. And a loading screen is now displayed while the game is reading world lo data for loading, creating or recreating a world. So I don't know what it means but let's recreate a world. And there was a little recreate world screen. So I don't know if you caught that. Let's do it again. Recreate reading world data, it says. And here preparing. So it has a very small message after you read the world data or load the world, create the world or recreate the world. So there have also been a few technical changes in pre-release 3. So first of all, region files are now only opened in synchronous mode on Windows, not on other operating systems. So the status of this feature can be manually controlled by the following options. So for dedicated, I don't really know what this means, by the way. So <laughs> for dedicated servers, sync chunk writes within server properties. And for clients, sync chunk writes within options TXT. So if you're interested in that, then please go read up about it. And then there is, of course, also a lot of bug fixes. And by a lot, I mean a lot, a lot. There is like a whole list of them. You can check all of them out in the link in the description below. I'll go through a couple of them. So first of all, there have been some optimizations to leads because they were not in the right spot at the first time, but now they will be in the right spot. And mobs should no longer despawn even if they have a name tag. If you use your main hand as a left hand, 
then attacking underwater would still use your right hand so that should be fixed now as well and there's also been a lot of optimizations to B so they shouldn't kill themselves anymore which is nice and uh, the credits have also been updated to include more of Mo Yang's employees which is nice and bats can no longer break turtle eggs. <laughs> Overworld mu music shouldn't start playing in the nether anymore, which is strange, but that's a bug that also has been fixed. Striders shouldn't be as rare anymore. So F3 and N will now display the correct mode you're actually switching to, which is nice as well. And a lot of capitalization changes have also been, well, updated to fit better. And endstone will no longer generate in the floating island setting. So we saw that before when I created a world on the custom floating island setting. There were lots of endstone blocks. So that should no longer happen. And a lot of crashes have been fixed as well. But that's about it. Most bug fixes are about capitalization and stuff like that. So if you want to read up about it once again. The link will be in the description for all the changes and bug fixes. And if you like this video, then please make sure to leave a like and watch some of my other videos. And then I want to see you in my next videos. Until then, bye-bye.